people. So let's make it interactive. Um, so feel free to stop me anytime you want and then ask me questions. Okay? So let's get started. How many of us heard about Google Places? Have you been to any Google Places? Okay. Two. So we all know that Google, there is Google uh, Spaces, Google Earth, all kinds of things. But uh, I'm going to tell you how to get into Google Places and what is Google Places and how to get in there. Now, so let's imagine we are all startups, how we are trying to get um, uh, get a business started here, right? So, well, you, may, you, you, you might be setting up some local businesses or, or internet business. Right? If, you're, if you want to sell flowers and you want to set up a store as a as florist in Bangalore, um, here's what, what we can take in an example. Now, first thing somebody comes look for flowers, florist in Bangalore. Now, if you look at this, this search result, okay, this is a latest results and one more update has come Google have you heard about it Google Instagram once you uh, click on on that that page it's going to take you to this particular page this is where you see if you're a business you can you can have your business listed here okay like uh, you, you can see a overview you can see some reviews and you can see a map interactive map you, you can click on it and you can find out the location right so how do we get into this anybody has already listed in Google Local. Anybody here? The business? Good. So you know the entire process, right? So, um, so how do we get into it here? Now, there is a form. Okay, once you you need to have a Google account in order to set up, and there is a form. You you go to uh, Google.com/slash/places, and you can add your business. Okay, it's free, completely free. Do you need to have a website? No. Do you need to have a? You need to pay to Google? No. It's free. Okay. Um, that's that's one of the topic that we are going to talk about. How to get free resources, right? Now there is a form. So it's simple form. It's a simple to use. But I'm going to talk about some of the tips. What you can do. You know. Now it's simple. You talk about it. It says. Where your loca location is, India. Now, the name of the company. Okay, here's one. When somebody searches not only for your, but also when somebody searches for keyword, like florist in Bangalore, you are you add images. Right? And you can add up to 10 images. Okay, it can be any images. And you can add videos as well. Right? So, here's where you can get a little bit creative. Let's imagine how many of us had difficulty finding this place this morning. Okay. So imagine if you're setting up a business and you have uh, you have your business in a different location, right? And people find it hard to find your space. Of course, we have Google Maps and we are all tech savvy, but still we have problems in finding this place, right? Now imagine. Let's be creative here. Let's find out. Okay, right? Draw a map or or. Draw it up in a in a in a paper and take a picture of it and put it in there, right? So it's when people search for your business, they also look at the directions. They get Google Maps. On top of that, they give they get your your drawings of, of how to find the location. It's much more easier, right? When somebody draws and gives, hey, yes, here's what it is. This is how you go. So I'm just giving an example. You can come up with creative ideas with the, with the images. You can take a uh, a, a picture of your. So I had that one. Use the space creative. Ten images. Use it creative. Now you can add videos. Imagine that you are already establishing and people are buying products from you. And let's talk about the testimonial. Okay, we have people who come and bought the product and they love the product. So let's take a video. Simple, you know, with using a simple camera, you can just take take a video about about the testimonials, right? And imagine putting that one, that adds a lot of credibility. Right? So as a small business, you get free resources, you, people find you easily, you're making it for people to find and add images, you want to show some pictures and videos. I mean, that is much more powerful. Right? Nowadays video is getting, getting much, much more attraction. Right? So you are, what happens is you're covering the entire 
entire you know ecosystem or holistic approach for this global business system, right? So let's get creative there. There's another options that you can add coupons, right? So if you're a business, you can set it up a, a set up a coupon where you, where people can print it out and bring it to your location. You can say, okay, this week we are going to have a sale. Here's what I'm going to give thirty dollars off, or I mean whatever you decide. And then you can set up a coupon. You don't need to be a, a you know a designer to set up. You can easily Google allows you to set up uh, coupons. Really simple and easy. So use that coupons for for anything. It can be anything. Just just maybe free coffee or anything. It can be. So make use of that coupon section. Uh, so you fill up all these things. What is the next step? Okay, Google wants you to know. Your business should be verified, right? Otherwise, anybody can can claim this is my business, right? So Google has a process where your business should be verified. That's why they ask for physical location and a phone number. So two things is important that you have the physical location and a phone number. Now, how do you get verified? So you fill out this form. You hit submit page where uh, Google will uh, will. There are two options Google will give. Two or three actually. One. You can either verify your business through postcard. Okay, they send a post postcard through you know normal mail, and then uh, the second option is uh, they will SMS you if you have a cell phone number. They will SMS you. Number three, they will call right away. Okay, the second and third one is the easy, fastest way. Right away they call you and give you a pin number. So the reason they're calling is they'll give a pin number. You need to add that pin number in the Google Local whenever you, after you fill up the form, right? Or you can choose the postcard method, which might take two weeks. Right? So once you fill up that one, they they call you and and give you a number. You enter the pin number and hit submit. You're all done. Right? So that's when you get verified, and within one or two days, your website is your business is up in Google Local. Right? Let's say. Somebody is looking for Saint Louis, Washington D.C. Right? So, if you look at this particular, it's called complex. It's one of a kind. What we did was not only they get listed in Google Local, but also in the organic results. So, you see the advantage. They get two two places. Right? So, when they click on that one, this is where they. You see the keywords, send flowers, gifts, Washington DC, and then the, their, their name, it's been, so it gives an overview of a business, right? They have the logo there, they have their, uh, their uh, images, and then the maps, it's free view. Okay, you click on it, it'll, it'll show you a 360 degree of, of, of their store location. It's got some, uh, some uh, images, and you see the timing, what timing they open, and some reviews, so you get everything. And what are the buses available there or transit? Everything is is in there. So you see, imagine this entire thing, you know, without paying to anybody, you get listed in, in the first place. Okay. So make use of this Google listings, Google local or Google places. Yes. So like the organic SEO spots upfront. Sure, I look for long tail keywords, right? Not, not. Oh, sure. Sorry. So he's asking, what would you do to?